Brandy Glanville's Legal Battle Against Bravo, a critical examination of stress-induced health claims and allegations. Reality TV star Brandy Glanville has announced her intention to sue Bravo, alleging that the network has caused her significant stress-induced health issues that have impeded her ability to work. This critical analysis will delve into the main points of Glanville's claims, her rationale for legal action, and the broader implications for the entertainment industry and mental health. Brandy Glanville, a former cast member of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, took to social media platform X, formerly Twitter, to declare her intent to sue Bravo. She cited receipts for days that allegedly substantiate her claims. Glanville asserts that the stress induced by her interactions with the network has led to uncontrollable stress-induced angioedema, a condition causing severe swelling, which has left her unable to work for the past year and a half. Glanville contends that the stress from her time with Bravo has ruined her health, rendering her too depressed to continue her Brandy Glanville unfiltered podcast, with the last episode airing on May 15. She further claims that her condition has made her too swollen to participate in other income-generating activities such as Cameo or OnlyFans. Glanville joined OnlyFans in July 2023 as a financial lifeline, highlighting her dire need for income after a prolonged period without work. A significant part of Glanville's stress appears to stem from allegations of sexual assault made by her co-star Caroline Manzo during the filming of The Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip Season 4 in Morocco in January 2023. Manzo accused Glanville of non-consensually humping and kissing her, allegations that Glanville has vehemently denied. Despite these denials, Manzo has chosen to sue Bravo rather than Glanville, claiming that the network failed to protect her and instead encouraged Glanville's behavior to enhance the show's drama and ratings. Glanville's claims and her decision to sue Bravo bring several critical issues to the forefront. Firstly, they highlight the potential mental health impacts of reality television. The high-pressure environment, combined with the constant public scrutiny and the network's alleged encouragement of controversial behavior for ratings, can take a significant toll on participants' mental and physical health. Glanville's allegations of stress-induced angioedema underscore the severe health consequences that can result from prolonged stress. Additionally, the legal battle raises questions about the responsibilities of television networks in protecting their cast members. Manzo's lawsuit against Bravo for negligence, sexual harassment, sex or gender discrimination, and sexual battery suggests that networks may prioritize ratings over the well-being of their talent. If Glanville's claims hold up in court, they could set a precedent for heightened accountability and improved mental health protections for reality TV participants. Public reactions to Glanville's announcements have been mixed, with some expressing sympathy for her health struggles and others skeptical of her motivations. The media coverage has also varied, with some outlets focusing on the sensational aspects of her allegations and others taking a more measured approach to her claims. Glanville's assertion that her attorneys have prevented her from releasing all her receipts further complicates public perception, leaving many to wonder about the full extent of her evidence. Brandy Glanville's decision to pursue legal action against Bravo for stress-induced health issues presents a multifaceted issue that intertwines mental health, legal responsibility, and the ethics of reality television production. The allegations, if proven, could have far-reaching implications for how networks manage the well-being of their cast members and address the mental health impacts of their programming. Glanville's case also serves as a stark reminder of the potential personal costs of fame and the pressures of maintaining a public persona. As the legal proceedings unfold, they will undoubtedly prompt further discussions about the need for better mental health support and protections in the entertainment industry. Whether Glanville's claims will lead to meaningful changes or be dismissed as another celebrity grievance remains to be seen, but the issues raised are undeniably significant and warrant serious consideration.